that that's my that's my segue the segue end. kick i guess that was our melbourne adventure for the night we uh had a meeting this morning which went well and then we're just heading back and i'll have a half day to edit but yeah things have been pretty crazy lately the i keep getting thrown off by how how wonderfully everything's going <laughs> And uh, yesterday's video, just a, a sketchbook tour has like 280,000 views, which is just so weird to me. Like that's three weeks ago, that would have felt viral to us. But the fact that last week we had two videos get over a million and a half, two million views. Mm. Now what videos are gonna, like, obviously things are gonna come back down. Like they, <laughs> what goes up must, but it's just such a strange thing. I definitely am counting our lucky stars at the moment. So, uh, another welcome to all the new people and a thank you to everyone who's yeah. just amazing. Well, we are, we're getting a lot of people who are like, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now that you've almost tripled your fundraising goal? Um, and aside again, we, we have talked a bit about this, but we keep banging on about it. Aside from expanding the space more than we thought we could, which is awesome, like, we, we now have a budget for studio equipment, which we're so excited about. It's gonna change everything. It's gonna make so many projects possible. So, big things to come. Office sweet office. Uh, there's been a couple of interesting arrivals that I think you might be interested in. This is a chair that was sent to me by the folks over at Secret Labs for no reason other than to sit in a chair and try it out. So, I guess I'll do that. I think. I think there is sort of that when people want to send you products, they hope you sort of show it off on the main channel a bit. But um, you know, that's something I'm pretty protective about. But we're we're pretty upfront with people, and we just say if they want to send us some, something to try out, we're happy to try it. But we don't make any promises, and we don't sign anything. We just say feel free to send something. We'll give it a go and tell you if we like it. But uh, long story short, we've got a free chair, so that's really cool. And apparently. It's a nice big comfy one, so it should be cool for editing. And then the other thing is I got a box sent to me by the folks over at Wacom for a couple of videos I might be making in the next few weeks. Oh, let's unbox some stuff. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is bloody huge. <laughs> What is this? It's like a little headrest or something. It's a kind of interesting dynamic. We actually get a lot of emails and requests to send us products, which we mostly decline. Every now and then someone will contact us like these people who said, uh, can we send you a chair? But with chairs, it's interesting because when I edit for like four or five hours straight, you can get really uncomfortable. So when they contacted us to, and asked if I'd be interested to check it out, to be honest, sort of was interested to check it out. So shout out to what, who, Secret Lab and the Titan chair. All right, this is the moment of truth. You ready? This better, uh... How's it balance? Oh my god. You use this as a bed. <laughs> ah. Welcome to my lair. I've, I've tried, like, okay, so for context, the reason we accepted this uh, is because I have tried dozens of chairs. I go through them like nothing else. Like, I. Phew, one good chair, if it's a good chair, lasts me like a year and a half tops because I'm using it. I mean, you guys know how much I work. I use it a lot, right? So the current chair I have, I actually... 
a cushion on the seat because the springiness sort of wears out a bit. But uh, it's, it's best, but I like it for videos because it's got a low back, so it's sort of less visible, which I sort of prefer. But for editing and stuff, um, it, it does get a little wearing. The thing about this though is it's really firm, so I don't know if it needs to be worn in or something, or if I'll get used to it and it's better, but I'm, I'm gonna try it out tomorrow because I have a whole bunch of editing to do, and then I'm also using the other chair to record a whole bunch of content. So it'll be interesting. I'll, uh, I'll give you a little bit more of a proper overview or comparison, I guess, if you're interested. I don't know, but it's definitely high quality. It's definitely not cheap feeling, and a lot of the chairs I tried felt a bit cheap. This is like durable. Oh, oh, and there's another unboxing. I'll be back in a sec. Aha! Okay, so here's a fun reveal for you. I'm gonna do a video sometime in the next three, four weeks with this thing, which is an Intuos drawer. Uh, and it's like, it's like the, the most affordable of the Wacom tablets. So I thought it would be fun to, to kind of demonstrate that you can get really cool results with a really affordable tablet. So they sent me this, and on top of that, they also sent me this, which is a Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. And this is the new Intuos Pro Medium, which has super high pressure sensitivity, pressure sensitivity levels, and these two are gonna be door prizes at the Arty Party, which I can share with you now that tickets have sold out. But um, yeah, I didn't wanna share that publicly before tickets were sold out, because I didn't want people to get tickets just to scunge prizes, but we have some sweet ass prizes. So if you come to the Arty Party, you'll be in a raffle to get a little bit of a treat. Although this one will have been technically used. So I don't know if that like, you know, diminishes its niceness for people, but I'll only have used it once, so. I hope that doesn't disappoint anyone. <laughs> I only just released the vlog for yesterday and it's nearly the end of today. So I'm a bit behind and there's no questions of the day. So I'm just going to take one from the day before. Athena Mizell asks, how does it feel to have your optimistic dreams be no longer in the pessimistic category? This is of course referring to the, the fundraiser that anyone who hasn't watched the last few vlogs where the original goal we had was just blown out of the water. Um, and yeah, so... <sighs> Look, it, it was an optimistic goal for us at the time when we when we set the goal of $26,000 to fundraise to fix our shed. And the fact that that was blown out of the water and and almost triple that was <laughs> raised and it's only, it's not even been a week, is obviously staggering. Like, it's really surprising <laughs> because we had pessimistic expectations. So in answer to your question, it feels surreal because we genuinely didn't expect it. That being said, I personally am still a little bit of a pessimist when it comes to my expectations, but I always have optimistic goals. So even though all this amazing stuff has happened, I have bigger goals because of it, because you guys have empowered that. Um, but I also am extra cautious and pessimistic about things not going wrong. I'm going to be even more careful because so many people have put in so much trust and I'm even even more paranoid <laughs> about things going wrong so it's like this weird pendulum where because it's exploded we have bigger goals and it's going to be more awesome and I'm also terrified <laughs> so it's like stretched both ends of the spectrum and it's quite emotionally jarring and a little tiring to be honest but it's a dream come true so I hope that answers your question. That's, uh, I'm gonna have to wrap up today. I, I'm, I'm behind on everything. I, I'm struggling with emails. I am, I haven't eaten since, since breakfast and it's nearly dinner time. And that for me is a big deal. <laughs> I just managed to get the update video out today. I was hoping to edit tomorrow's video a little bit today, but I didn't get around to that. And tomorrow I have to edit two videos and record the Skillshare course. So let's see how that goes. Uh, yeah, it's all the whirlwind and there is this whole thing of strike the iron while it's hot because, you know, everything's going so crazy and we it's it's important to make the most of it and not, not step away or take it for granted. But yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. So, <sighs> gotta hang in there. Thank you all so much for 
for this whirlwind of adventure. Uh, and I know it's crazy at the moment, but the dust will settle and we'll be in a much more amazing place than we could have ever dreamed and be able to really move forward in, in an amazing way. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.